Now, something completely different to that. Live for the first time on television, network or otherwise, one of the most extraordinary bands New Zealand's ever produced. Love them or hate them, I don't give a damn. We've got the Dead Sea, they're absolutely marvellous. Robbie Yeats on drums. Oh, it's a friend, I've got to say that. <laughs> Righty ho. Thank you, Dead Sea. Look at that. Rocking stuff. Crazy stuff. Loving that action. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Line Red. Um, there. Cation, um, there's a, there was a band called Suicide. I don't know if they're actually still going or not. The Dead Sea Cats are here to um, help with, with this as well. They're kind of like um, an early electronic band, just um, drum, a drum machine, and a guy that sounded like Elvis Presley. To me, Alan Vega, the singer, was Elvis Presley. Um, he was basically my Elvis. They, should have done the music to Twin Peaks, in my opinion. A beautiful, beautiful band called Suicide. They did their first album, I think, in 1977. Is that right, Dead Sea Cats? 76. 76. Red okay, you're ready to put me in. To uh, correct me on that one. Um, a huge influence on a lot of bands, and also New Zealand bands, you know? Like, uh, you know, an influence Many on yourself, maybe? Many bands not Us? Yeah. You as well? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I mean, quintessential. They're ubiquitous. They're everywhere. Right. There's a few words that... Um, ubiquitous that means scripted. everywhere. <laughs> Every that quintessential was means um, <laughs> capturing the spirit which uh, encapsulates everything from yeah. it. This particular album, um, this is why I focused on it this week, is uh, just available uh, recently, a double of some basement tapes that Suicide did and also um, the second Suicide album. What was it called? It doesn't Just have a title. Alan Vega. Right. Could be called yeah. Martin, Martin Red, Alan Vega. Okay, the... Um, and it includes the Dream Baby Dream 12-inch. Yeah, which lovely. Which is really good. Soft Cell with a Sun Don't Shine, if you have that song. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It makes Soft Cell look pretty... Soft. 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 That was a word. Thick and soft, I reckon. Um, they also influenced a band, I reckon, uh, by the name of Snapper, or a New Zealand band. 
to um, uh, Peter Gutteridge was in that band, and uh, still is. Still yeah, well, still is, yeah. And pretty much everything he's touched, from the clean on, it's great unwashed, um, is just absolutely brilliant. And they did a tune called Buddy. Let's have a look at that for just a minute. I'll give you a bit of an idea of what suicide has been. Snapper and tune called Buddy. They'll give you some idea about um, suicide and uh, the influence that they've had. You guys did see you playing live this weekend in Auckland? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. King's Arms. King's Arms. I'm going to be there. Wild Horses, etc. We hear it's very nice. And you've got a new CD out. Flying Nun, forthcoming compilation yeah, look, of early recordings. I'm doing the uh, holding of CDs tonight. Well. Oh, who wants it? You want it? And many of our other albums are available, more than anyone need count, really. Yeah. They're all um, just <laughs> like each other. Well. You're not famous for being a top ten pop band, really. I'm afraid not. Uh, Colin McCart of music in some ways. <laughs> That's very sweet. Equally yeah. dark. Were there three of them? Thank you. Mm? Were there three of them? Uh, there weren't three of them, but he did use paintbrush. He did like trip tips. Easel. <laughs> we are a trip tip. Very we are. Oh. Very good. How about that, huh? Mm. Can hey, you spell um, it? Sorry. T-I-Y-T-T-I. -T -T -I. <laughs> it's good, good. Hey, um, Halara traveling around the country at the moment, and of course we gave him the camera.